Welcome back to our expert talk series, Rudel and Partner presents The Lighthouse, talks with our India experts. We are back again with the Pali Joshi to talk about the India entry strategy. During the last session, we heard about India's potential, not only as a domestic market, but also as a supplier to the world, be it manufacturing hub or global capability center. We also discussed about the importance of the ideal first step in the Indian market, that is, know your market. So, Dipali, what will be a natural progression after Know Your Market? So, Anushri, as we discussed last time, India opportunity is a reality for those who adapt to it. So, once in-depth understanding of the market is gained, localization must be considered, you know. So, here, uh, localization can be seen from two different angles. First one can be customizing the products as per the local conditions. For example, if you are offering a processing machinery for the plant, it needs to be customized as per the Indian shop floor conditions as well as it should strike a balance between the price and the technology being offered. You know, and the second factor of localization, which is the most talked about strategy in India right now, is local manufacturing. Local manufacturing, yes. So I'm sure our viewers must be wanting to ask this question. Uh, will they be able to justify their investment for local manufacturing at the beginning itself? That would call for another separate session altogether. Uh, but for now, I will briefly explain how localization strategy can be evolved. Localization need not be straight 10-20 million euros of investment in India. The India strategy can be evolved in various phases depending on the foreseen potential and bandwidth of the respective company. A company can start with a procurement office or a global capability center for its group requirements. It can procure components, raw materials or semi-finished goods or even deploy services for its group companies from India. This opportunity is not new for India at all. Many multinational companies, right from automotive, textiles, engineering goods, etc., have been procuring to the tune of millions of euros each annually. Of course, the drivers for this move have been the cost arbitrage of India, both in terms of production and employee cost. What will be the key considerations that a foreign company should keep in mind uh, while procuring for its global requirements from India? A structured scan of the supplier ecosystem will be the key. Instead of relying on a few references on a foreign land like India, the multinational company should run a scan to understand the profile of suppliers available in India. This will give an idea about the numbers, scale, size, diversity in terms of product offering, local experience of the suppliers in the Indian market. Based on the same, the multinational company can then devise its strategy for the procurement effectively. Another important point that I would like to highlight here is the importance of supplier due diligence. One must consider conducting financial and legal due diligence of the supplier and pay regular visits. Thank you, Tipali. That was a very insightful discussion. Uh, well, as you mentioned, it's a vast topic and a very interesting one. So we shall continue with the same topic in our next session. I'm really looking forward to it. Great. Dear viewers, we would be delighted to remain connected with you via our series, Rural and Partner Presents The Lighthouse, Talks with our India Experts. Thank you for watching our today's informative video. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, Please be safe, grow your business and play by the rules.